What's up, YouTube? Hey, we we'll back with another video. But no, so let me ask y'all this. So have y'all ever? Hold on. Have y'all? Oh. Have y'all ever um came in contact with somebody that y'all just knew wasn't right? And like they they portray to be right, they portray to be the person that you want to be with, and things like that. And y'all don't mind about it. It ain't it ain't getting right now, but yeah. So I really wanna know, like, have y'all ever came in contact with anybody that just seemed like they was gonna be there for you, but they not for real? So I'm gonna tell you how I'm feeling this. So not too long ago. I came in contact with someone that I thought was going to be there for me, that I thought was really going to have my back and everything else. Come to find out, she was talking about me. She was talking about me behind my back. And I was telling people all these different rumors and all this other stuff about me. But then we'll come back to me and then be shady. I didn't understand what it was for, what I did, nothing. Like, I didn't know because nobody told me. And it's like, I just, I kept being her friend, which was stupid of me. But I kept being her friend, kept trying to be there for her. She went through what she went through, and I still was there. And it's like, I felt like I was a fool because I stayed around. Everybody else walked away, didn't say nothing else to her. They were trying to tell me she ain't no good. But I still stayed around because I knew in my heart that there was a reason why I was supposed to be there. So, and I'm gonna tell y'all who I'm talking about. It's somebody that I don't talk to anymore because, I don't talk to her anymore because of what she did to me because she made it seem like I was a bad person, never was, never did nothing wrong to her, was always there for her when she needed somebody. So, yeah, the person I'm talking about, her name is, I believe her name is Ariel, or I don't know what her name is, but that's close enough. But no, her name was Ari. Ariel? Ariel, something like that, I don't know. But yeah, she, um, She's the one that I told y'all I was gonna give y'all the story to talk about. So she's the one that I told y'all I made an Instagram for her, made her Instagram, being a nice person that I am, made her the Instagram, gave it to her, sent her the password. And then a few hours later, she texted me and she was like, Thank you. Which I was like, You welcome, you good. It's all cool. It's good, it's cool. I ain't gonna be too mad, but it's the fact that she took my Instagram from me, started messaging my followers. Mind y'all, the reason why I knew she messaged my followers was my cousin, she sent me something. And she uh, she replied back and, not, and was like, this is not her, I wish you stopped DMing me, da 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 da. Mind y'all, my cousin showed me. I don't have any screenshots no more, but my cousin showed me. My cousin showed me everything. And it was funny to me because I'm up here still being your friend after you did this to me. Not only did you do that, but you was deaf on me. You told me that you hope my unborn child died, and you told me that you hope I can track HIV. Mind y'all, never messed with nobody. Never understood why she said what she said to me. Never wanted to understand why she said what she said to me. And yet was there for her when she told me things that nobody knew. It's like, I be here for people. I do things for people. I'm always here. It's never a time where I'm not going to be there for a person. That's just me. That's how I am. That's who I am. And things like that. So it's like, I'm here for her through all of this. And then I still get done dirty. And it's like, I had to let it go. That's what I need a lot of other people to understand. When somebody do you dirty, if you give them two chances, give them the two chances. 
But after them two chances, if they continue to keep doing you dirty, let them go. They got to go. You can't hold on to them. You got to let them go. So, yeah, I had to learn the hard way to realize she's not your friend. She never really was. But now I know. Now, yeah, we're not friends no more. I don't keep in contact with her. Block her on everything. And she's not the first person that I blocked on everything. Like, no, I don't keep in contact with her. I don't say nothing to her. I don't ask nobody about her. Like, no, it ain't none of that no more. But y'all, we're going to have another video probably tomorrow. I don't know. But make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure y'all go check out my other videos that I posted. Bye, peaches, man. See y'all later.